everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here early on this Tuesday morning. We've got partly to mostly cloudy skies for a large part of the area this morning. The thickest clouds are on the back edge here. And then we've got a lot of clearing that's moving in from the west. So we're going to see clearing skies from west to east as the day goes on. Winds not terribly strong today, kind of out of a uh, north and northeasterly direction right in here. But then out west, there's, a, there's actually a divide here. There's a bit of a, I think it's a surface trough. And so that brings more of a west and northwest wind right in here. And, and the winds are going to be lightest, kind of right in the middle ground area, right in here. That's where the lightest winds will be today. They get a little bit breezier out west. Now, as for the clouds, as quickly as they clear out of here today, they will start to move right back in tonight from west to east. We'll start to see some showers move into western Nebraska later tonight and into tomorrow morning. Those showers will spread eastward during the day tomorrow. Winds will be picking up out of the east and the southeast, we've, what we've got actually is a low pressure system down in Kansas. I'm kind of drawing it in here. And your strongest winds you can see in the southeastern areas there, kind of highlighting these areas here, southeastern areas. There's going to be some good moisture fetch that comes in from the southeast, right into southeast Nebraska and northeast Kansas. So that's going to kind of feed this moisture, the rain that's going to develop, and eventually. By the end of the afternoon and into the evening hours, some thunderstorms will start to fire up over southeast Nebraska, south central Nebraska, north central and northeast Kansas. Again, in this pocket right here. This is a more stable area, so this will mostly just be some showers that we'll see here. Maybe some snow way out west. But uh, again, we're going to have to keep a close eye on this for the potential for maybe some isolated, strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow evening, later in the night. As they lift to the northeast, they'll clear on out and the severe weather threat goes away. And in fact, thunderstorms will go away as eventually we'll just be looking at some cooler showers as the air becomes more stable. Northerly winds partly responsible for that. The north wind's going to draw in cooler temperatures, so it will be a chilly day. Those winds will pick up on Thursday, so it's going to be rather blustery. And off to the west and northwest, these areas could be looking at some snow, including maybe a little bit of accumulating snow right in here. This area is kind of the wild card for potential for snow later in the day on Thursday as I'm going to show you in just a bit. But let's, let's look, first look at the uh, severe weather threat for tomorrow, about 5 p.m. onward all the way through about midnight. A low end level 1 out of 5 marginal risk of severe storms for the Tri-Cities to Lincoln, Omaha, Fremont, Columbus, York, Smith Center, Holdridge, and then farther southeast, a level 2 out of 5 slight risk of severe weather for far southeast Nebraska and northeast Kansas. Your primary threats currently look to be large hail, maybe some damaging wind gusts, but right in here, there is a low-end tornado threat from here to about Kansas City. Kansas City is kind of right in the target area. So it's going to be in the far southeast where a few supercells could potentially have enough spin to maybe produce an isolated tornado in those locations. Now I want to look beyond, we'll actually look at a couple of forecast models as we look towards the rest of that storm system here. And again, there's tomorrow morning. Looking long range here, again the uh, showers. Mixing with some moisture out west, and there's the severe weather threat there in southeast Nebraska. Kansas City's close. And then as that threat lifts to the northeast, colder air comes in. Rain tries to mix with snow, but at that point, the moisture is moving out. So most of us won't see much snow. I think western Nebraska has the best chance here. Here's the European model, and I believe the European model might be the most aggressive with the snow. I can't remember for sure. Let's, let's show that again here. So this is Thursday, uh, late Wednesday night, Thursday morning. There's the severe weather threat to our southeast, and parts of southern and southeastern areas here. No snow yet, but as we go through the day Thursday, it gets cold enough, maybe a little snow mixes in, mainly for western and northwestern Nebraska. And then that system moves on out. Then we look towards quieter days, Saturday, Sunday, before a cold front dies south right there. You can see the front across Nebraska with those clouds there. So Saturday afternoon, that's going to draw in colder air for Sunday and Monday. And then beyond that, we'll start to warm back up and get some nicer weather by the middle of next week. Let's look at the GFS real quick. Let's jump ahead to Wednesday. Here's Wednesday morning, then the afternoon. There's the rain and thunderstorm activity developing afternoon into the evening hours. Then we're just looking at showers around on Thursday with some snow in the west. And then everything clears out by Thursday night into Friday morning. Quiet weather for the weekend. There's the cold front right there. Saturday afternoon, there's that line of clouds. That's the cold front diving south. And we'll be cold for a couple of days, but then warming up by the middle of next week and beyond. Maybe a little active weather later next week. We'll see. It's a long ways out yet. Let's take a look at the seven-day forecast. Actually, before we even get to that, I haven't even shown you temperatures for today. High temperatures for today will be nice and mild in the mid to upper 60s and lower 70s. 
Overnight lows tonight, dipping back into the mid to upper 30s and lower 40s. Tomorrow's temperatures more wide ranging. This is pretty typical with the classic spring uh, system approaching. 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s from west to east across Nebraska, and then as we and northern Kansas. And as we look towards tomorrow night, we've got 30s and 40s across the state with the warmest temperatures in the east. Thursday, most of us will be cooling down, maybe still into the 50s to near 60 over eastern Nebraska. A little bit warmer than that in Fall City, but most of us cooler in the 40s and even some 30s out towards the west. And that temperature profile will be very important to if there's some snow accumulation in here or not. Now let's look at the seven-day forecast for the Tri-Cities. Again, very nice today. Not the one of the rare light wind days or lighter wind days. The winds will be back, though, these next few days. Here comes the rain Wednesday afternoon, thunderstorms Wednesday night. And then Thursday, just plain old cool showers possibly a little snow mixing in Thursday night to Friday morning, but it's just a slight chance. I don't think we'll see any accumulation for the Tri-Cities. Quieter weather after that will start to warm back up Friday and into Saturday. And then there's that cold front late Saturday that will bring us the cool down for St. Patrick's Day Sunday and for Monday. And then after that, we will start to warm back up here as we look at the Tri-Cities extended forecast beyond seven days. You can see the warmer weather will be back for the middle of next week, back into the 60s and 70s. I didn't do North Platte's forecast for today, so I'm not going to show the seven-day forecast, but I, this is an automated graphic here, the 10-day forecast for North Platte. So I'll just show you where temperatures are trending for North Platte. It's fairly similar, really. Uh, you can see the warm weather that will return next week here, but uh, not a big difference between the North Platte 10-day forecast and the Tri-Cities 10-day forecast. So I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Tuesday morning. I hope it's a good one for you for today, and I will be back with you folks on Wednesday with all of the latest. Take care. And we'll talk about that also. We'll talk about that severe weather threat and maybe a little bit of snow potential a little bit more as we look towards Wednesday or Wednesday night into Thursday as well. So we'll have more details on that tomorrow morning. Until then, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you all again on Wednesday. Talk to you all later. Bye.